Um, but what we're going to do is show off what we did last time. So I finally figured out how to automatically win the Gwent minigame. It's a card game within Witcher 3 that actually has been spun out into its own standalone um, game, which has an eSports scene to it, and it's actually on Steam now, um, which happened very recently. So this is good timing, I guess. Uh, but basically, I uh, figured out how to automatically win every Gwent game, basically. And what that... Oh. Let's get out of here. There we go. Uh, and we do that by we found out where the Gwent score was written finally, and uh, we overwrote that um, assembly, uh, those assembly instructions to always set our score to be 200. Um, now that value is kind of arbitrary. Uh, it's enough to win every game. Uh, I didn't want it to be too high. I mean, it is still, I found out that the score itself is still four bytes, so it can go up to like. If it's signed, it can go up to like over 4 million, I believe, or f yeah, over 4 million, maybe 4 billion. Um, it's a really high number, uh, but you know, any anything over three digits and it becomes, it goes outside of the uh, display. So let's show what that looks like. So we just did a simple, um, we just did a really simple way of, uh, of doing it in Cheat Engine. Later on, I might, um, once I've, you know, done some more hacks on Witcher 3, I might Put it all together in, uh, you know, like a either an injector, like an, a DLL, I can inject into the program, or just as an external uh, trainer, basically, um, just write it up in C plus plus. I'll probably do another stream for that. But here is what it looks like. So let's go into the game. Talk to this guy. There we go. And we're gonna play some Gwent. We're going to bet, let's just bet 10. It's the most we can bet. I can probably change that later on if I wanted to, but it's kind of arbitrary. And start the game. Okay, so just to show that we've, we've done this, CR score zero. Let's get rid of these because uh, we don't really care. We just want to get points. I have too many of those. Okay, the opponent's turn. Great. Okay, so you have two on the board. Awesome. I need myself four on the board. Okay, now my score is four. There's a two. So I've created it as a script. Oh, I've I now have one as my score. Well, not for long. As soon as I place my next card, it's going to be two hundred. Doesn't even matter where it is. Oh, boom! Two hundred is my score. They stand no chance. They pass because they know there's no way they can get to two hundred. And I'm gonna pass and win this one. Won the round, awesome. The next one I'm just gonna start with, and this totally confuses the opponent's AI. So we actually did some interesting, uh, we, we, we found out how, like this was accessed quite a few times and we saw that the opponent's score, um, the instruction that was setting the opponent's score, same instruction, but just different uh, ident identifier for the opponent's, um, uh, like the opponent identifier, it went through a bunch of different, it, it, it called it a whole bunch of times. And what I think that did is it went through all the different cards in its hand to see what the score would be like when it played them and um, look at how it would affect the board. So it's kind of the opponent's AI and it has no way to deal with this. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of funny. It's still gonna try to probably play through all its cards to see if it can get to 200. Cause it doesn't, the AI in this game isn't, at least doesn't appear to be set up so that it can look long, uh, a long way into the future. So it doesn't have a long predictive uh, view horizon it just kind of looks at the next the next hand which i'd imagine is probably changed in their standalone mini game um but maybe not let's go pass okay i've passed because i have a score of 200 every time and let's see what they do yep they're going to try to play all their cards because they think there still might be some way and they don't know until they've tried all of them in fact sometimes they even play the card that goes down on my hand or on my side because they the opponents that have those <clears throat> usually gives them visibility into our our hand yep all their cards they have one card left right here yep <laughs> it's just gonna play it even though it does nothing here <laughs> but they had to play other cards and that's it we won the round and we won 20 coins from this great look at that 20 crowns the richer oh i got items that's interesting hmm didn't know I could win items from beating them in Gwent. So there you have it. That was how, that was kind of how we ended last night.